Thumbs up! What's up, people? We are back with more of her story. So, I played the, the first three videos, I played those in a row, and it's been a while now since I've played, like, uh, almost half a day since I've played that. So I've had some time to think about stuff as well, and during editing and um, re-watching the first three videos, um, I noticed a lot of things, like, for example, the fact that the parts where I got freaked out, when I look back at them, those parts weren't actually particularly scary at all, but because of the fact that I am so into it and it's because it's so unexpected, right? Because you're looking at a freaking computer screen and for some some reason some weird picture slowly fades into the into existence and then it's and then it um, fades out again. So yeah, I probably overreacted a bit, but I am really into this, I got to tell you. So if it happens again, I cannot promise that I won't be scared again, but I just feel... When I watched it, I felt a little silly-like. That's not really that scary, but I'm just trying to explain that, you know. I have my reasons to feel scared at those points at least. So, yeah. Um, besides that, I also um, rewrote the stuff that I wrote on the original paper because I cannot show this to you at all, but it's really messy, it's just... You know, words scribbled, uh, not even really well formatted. So I wrote two pieces of paper, one with all of the dates because it's rather important actually because there are seven interviews in total and all of those dates are actually pretty important. And during those, you can see just difference, differences in the way she talks and just obviously also with, with time passes, the, the police has found more evidence. She's more willing to talk about things, that sort of stuff. So... That's why I made one uh, separate paper for the dates and stuff and the information that is key with that and another one with, um, or actually on the same one, a couple of questions like I was wondering multiple pregnancies or just one but it was definitely multiple so I'm gonna look after that, uh, gonna search that very soon as well. Twins for sure, Eve pushed out of Hannah's life, tries to like, live vicariously through Hannah. That's what I thought as well. And I mentioned that before too, I think. And then we have the um, other paper with a shit ton of words actually well formatted this time. So I can actually find which one I used before and which one I haven't. So, <coughs> yeah, let's continue. Uh, the first one I definitely wanted to um, search was twins. Whether that's actually ever mentioned. Twins, twin, entry six times. Twins. <laughs> really? Are you really asking me that question? So the police? Oh my god! Fuck, it's coming again! God damn it! Uh, it's just showing, seeing that gives me goosebumps. Uh, it's not scary, the picture is not scary, you just don't expect it. Alright, so, twins. She is really surprised at it. So this is 207. Let's see, 207. That is, uh, the thing I wrote down there is Simon confirmed killed. So at that moment, she heard that Simon was killed. Um, twins, um, this is Hannah. And in the 307, I'm almost 90% certain that that is not Hannah. So surprised. And the police are thinking this as well because they're asking her that question. And she's like, twins? What? So, uh... What I'm thinking right now is that Hannah does not know about the twins and um, that other person that she thought was Eve or something. I don't, oh my god. I don't know. Um, this is Eve or whatever the hell you want to call her. That's the other twin that was pronounced dead at birth. She doesn't know about her and she knows about Hannah and she, maybe she's the crazy one that tries to live vicariously through her and whatever. Oh god surprised about twins what else did it say twins oh are you really asking me that question yeah okay twins surprised about twins so not aware that there there is one uh what do i write down here does not know about 
twin. Strange though, because she said she knows about Eve, that that was her friend. So this is either Eve or not, or Eve could be a different person as well. Because she knows that she knows Eve from before, and she said that they were friends. But if she is the other twin is sub the supposedly Eve, she would recognize that they look alike, right? I mean, you know, I mean, twins is obviously you grow up with that person, so you know. But if if they're like separated, maybe yeah, hey, yeah, you kind of look like me, but. All the other stuff like the hair, maybe, I don't know, certain little things probably are very different. But, so maybe that's why she does not think that Eve is her twin. Alright. Uh, there are now no play it again. Are you out of your mind? Twins. Oh god, she does not believe it. Does not believe about it. So she either really does not know or she's just acting. Because another thing that could be the case as well is that both of them are just working together, you know? Because in an, in an earlier video that we watched, I think it was of 307, was that she said like, yeah, we planned it. Oh, the watch, that, that's what I did. So it could be that they're working together and Hannah's just trying to deny everything. That's a possibility as well. Does not believe about twins. Next one. This is the crazy Florence one. Took me home with her. Florence, that's another name I need to look at. Mother hadn't been expecting twins and had a healthy baby. I guess she was just Separated. happy for Florence to clean up. Take away the evidence that this was anything but a happy occasion. Oh god, oh god. Luckily I was looking away. Separated twins. Okay, so what we can definitely make out from this is twins for sure separated at birth because the mo mother from both this twin, which is we know 100% sure now this is a different person, yeah? Um, separated at birth. So, so Florence took her and Hannah just lived with her normal mom. There were always princes and princesses. They were the special people, more important than the other characters in their stories. We knew we were like that. Twins. Magical. We were the princesses. We had a post on Princess Diana from the newspaper up in our attic. Had a pride of place. And underneath we used to put all our special things. When her engagement was announced, we were obsessed with everything she did. And later, when her life went so bad, we felt for her. Mm. Her divorce last year just kind of drew a line under things. So what I make out from that video is that... At first I thought that, that she had basically recognized the fact that Hannah was aware of her. But the way she's talking later in this video... Um, uh, what was it? She could be a top, well, because she's saying we, uh, when her life went so bad. It, it just seems to me like they are watching Hannah from afar. Hannah is unaware of this, and the we that she's talking about is probably herself, this person, the, the other twin, and Florence, I'm guessing. We felt for her, blah, 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 her divorce. So she knows everything about Hannah. Um... Other twin watches Hannah from afar. Alright, that's the stuff about twins. Let's cross that off. The next one I had was um, watch, but I think Florence is actually an important figure as well. So we're gonna type that. Florence. <laughs> Yeah, only I, it's it's for sure that the only person talking about Florence is the other other twin, so the one that. So what we can make out now for sure is that, in all the other six interviews before the last date, the last date is third of July. Um, every other the other six interview is Hannah, but the last interview is not Hannah. Florence raised me in her home. I never left it. 
she kept me out of sight. It wasn't odd for people to see a midwife with a baby, carrying in supplies, washing nappies, that sort of thing. I never knew any different. I grew up looking out of my window and seeing her across the road. I thought it was like a reflection in the mirror. She was me. Holy crap. So we're definitely right about that one. Um, yeah, I guess just looking at her from afar. So they lived across the street from each other. Florence was a warm, kind person. But she was broken, I guess. When I found her diary, I also found a biscuit tin with other stuff in it. All the papers, letters, that kind of thing. Her story was in there. I never really spoke to her about it. I was far too young to really understand. I guess I just put it together later, once I was older. She had loved children. Plan to have a large family, but her husband died in the war. And that was back when you married for life. She never felt like she could marry again. Isn't that strange? She was a widow from her twenties. Well, I mean, I guess it was different then. And then you married for life, and she felt she could never marry again. I guess it was harder, a war widow. <coughs> One of the dead. I, I don't know, maybe there was more to it than that. I don't really know. Alright, so I wrote down widow. Um, this is just basically information about Florence. Young widow. Last one of Florence. It was just me and her. It was the name they were going to call their first child. They talked about it and were going to try when it came back. Florence's family had a history of firstborn girls, so they were convinced it was going to be a girl. It's hard to know if this is all true. These are stories I remember that I read when I was a child. Maybe I misread. Maybe I misunderstood. <laughs> Sometimes it's hard to remember what happened last week. Yeah, it's hard when you're cray cray. Um, okay, I wrote down story or stories. See, um, this particular person, the other twin, mentions stories, stories uh, very often. Like in another video, she was sort of accused of when she says, "I'm not the, I don't have, you don't have proof." There's not a weapon, you haven't found a weapon, something like that. And she also says, yeah, everything that we were talking about earlier, there were stories. That's just it, they're stories. So stories might be another key word to look out for. Um, right, what did we just look at? Florence. Florence, let's cross that one off. I'm trying to make things more organized. Um, Alright. Um, so, what was this about? Um, she said something about Eve. No. But she said it's just me and her. Eve was the name they were going to call their first child. Um, so Eve is definitely a person that exists because Hannah has recognized her and actually said that she was friends with her. But we, from this video, we cannot conclude that the other twin, this person, is named Eve. She's not saying that herself. But she's saying that there was definitely no one else, just her and Florence. And Eve was the name they had planned for the for Florence's child, basically, first child. Because um, the other twin is not uh, Florence's real child, of course, she just took her. So, um, Eve exists. Is, it, is there a C in there somewhere? I don't know. Exists. I think it's the C. 
I don't know, fuck it. Exists. Maybe the name of other twin. Like we don't know for sure, but it seems that way. Alright, that was Florence. Um I had the next one on my thing was watch. Watch was a key word mentioned a couple of times, but we've already basically looked through everything of that. So that is not that important. The next one is very, very key. Infertile. Because it wasn't said word for word, but out of everything, out of all the clips that we have watched, we can basically almost certainly conclude that she was pregnant twice, once at a very young age, at 17, and then they decided to get married. And after that, she got a miscarriage, and because of the complications, she the, the doctor said she was infertile unable to get more children but it seems like after that she got pregnant again because in certain moments uh, as, no no she got pregnant again for sure because during especially like the earlier interviews she said she is pregnant herself she's pregnant right now she said something about morning sickness as well as well so let's watch this video I think it was that time the first time at the house in his bed that I got pregnant. <laughs> amazing, right? This fucking what? Magic and they say lightning doesn't strike twice. <laughs> doesn't strike twice? I didn't tell him. I was three periods. I had pretty irregular periods anyway, but three. I had always thought we were infertile. Both of us. I didn't tell him. Oh, God. I just waited. So Hannah and I were meeting for our birthday, and I told her what? because I thought she would be happy for us both. I think she was. Oh, my God, look at that picture. So that one has a red. There are different, it's the same picture always popping up, but one is like, one has police flashes, like the police light in them, and other ones hasn't. So, oh my god, this one is really key, I'm gonna add it to session, even though I have no idea what to do with that, but this one is really key. Because she, what, what we can conclude from this is that she, um, pretends to be Hannah at a certain, uh, period basically and she was the one that got pregnant the second time I think or not I don't know but another thing she does is um, gives away that Anna knows about her and <coughs> my thought has been really bad but we don't care uh, I was told both of us infertile here and I were meeting for our birthday and I told her because I thought she would be happy for us both. I think she was. So, oh god. This makes it seem like Simon was not aware of the fact that Simon is definitely not aware of the fact that they're twins. But it seems like they, they just they're tag teaming him or something, like um, Hannah's like, fuck it, I can't take this anymore, I disappointed him, alright, you go in. And then the other woman goes in and, I don't know. Oh, fuck. Uh, was there any particular keyword? Like, I, I checked the, some of the Steam achievements earlier and I didn't even, in the first three videos, I didn't even uh, unlock 50% of the database of the clips that are available. So there are a shit ton of clips, yeah, and I have a lot of digging to do left. Um, cross out infertile. The next one, this was only mentioned once very early on in the beginning, but I wanted to look it up regardless. Poison. Because she said something about, in this one, about food poisoning, I felt bad for him, I wish I could have been there. I got a job to contribute, you know. Doug knew someone and I got a job as a dinner lady at the primary school. He said it didn't matter if I could cook or not, just don't poison the kids. Okay, that has no relevance whatsoever. So you see, 
It's always been complicated between me and Simon. It's never just been the two of us. There's always been pressure. Complicated relationship. Like, you know, want to know another weird and freaky thing about this game? Is that in my earbuds, I actually sometimes, after the videos, I hear clicking of the mouse, which is not me, by the way. I mean, I'm pretty sure you can, you can hear me typing and clicking sometimes, but every now and then you hear this clicking sound or something, and it's from the freaking game, it's not me. Holy shit. So she says, complicated relationship, um, got, uh, got a job to contribute. Alright, so that was poison. Another key thing that happened early on, and this was had something to do mostly with her alibi during where she was at the moment where Simon was murdered, was she was talking about a car accident. Okay, that is surprisingly little. I would have expected there to be more about it. So we can cross that one off. The next one is Diary. Diary was mentioned... Um, a couple of times actually by the, the other twin oh wow she mentions in two at the very beginning the one where she wears blue is the very first time where she's filing a missing reports person missing missing persons report no he doesn't keep diary that's my thing I've kept one well Whoa. as long as I can remember since I was a girl Make sense of my day when you're forced to put something into words. This gives you perspective. Everyone's on the same page. So what we can conclude, um, Hannah keeps a diary, and one of the things that no, that makes it really makes it sound that. like this gives, you, this gives you perspective. Everyone's on the same page. Basically, what they could have done is, at this moment, she's already aware. I mean, I think she, especially in the early interview, she's just hiding about the fact that she knows about the other twin. She's definitely hiding that. And I feel like in the last video, the other twin is like, she, I don't know, something happened between them. And maybe she felt betrayed and she decided to come clean with the police about who, who she really is. I think that's what happened. So, she ke Hannah keeps a diary. In this, in the other videos, in the two that we have already watched about the other twin, we should give her just a fucking name. Just, just call her Eve, right? Okay. So, because other twin is kind of vague, we're just gonna call her Eve. So, in the other two videos about Eve, she mentions diary a couple of times, but the thing that she mentions is that Florence, her quote-unquote mother, the person that raised raised her, keeps a diary. But it's interesting that Hannah also has one. Not sure whether that's relevant, but. The thing that they could do, yeah, is that because um, it's impossible for um, Eve to know exactly what Hannah is doing. So if Hannah were to keep a diary of pretty much everything that, that, that happened during the day that's important, and then puts it in a place where Eve can find it, and then whenever they would decide to swap places, Whenever Eve dis, uh, decides to go like, fuck it, I'm going after Simon today. It's my 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 shift or something, I don't know. Then she's aware that she knows everything that Hannah knows. So that Simon wouldn't be suspicious. Um, she keeps a diary possibly to inform Eve about... Because that, that sentence about being on the same page, it seems like both of them have one goal. I mean, that's what that's kind of what it is, right? Being on the same page is that you have a certain goal in mind and you're both on, on the same page knowing exactly what you have to do to achieve that goal. I'm taking this shit so seriously, man. <laughs> I'm actually getting scared about myself. But okay, okay. Um, to inform Eve about important details I guess um, when I was eight mother died she Ooh. slipped down the stairs 
was an accident. I had read a diary at that point and I knew she wasn't my real mother. So I burned the diary that day and I left. Walked out and across the street. So Florence died when Eve was eight. Uh, Florence died when Eve was eight. <coughs> Went to across the street. That is where uh, she, what's her face lives, right? Went to Hannah's house. She said across the street. Across the street is where Hannah lived. Next. It just became our way of life. We would swap places and take turns to do things. And we were very I careful. fucking knew it. Whoever had been out that day would come back and write a detailed diary. To yes! The same page. We had a list of rules that said what I'm we a could, fucking god detective. Do, I'm going to show this to my local situation. police and they should hire me on the spot. It was exhaustive. We lived a second life through those rules. Rules second for things life. that could only ever happen inside our imaginations. And we would consider all the permutations of future events and agree rules to walk our way through them. Am I a freaking god or what? Holy crap. I'm fucking right. I'm fucking right. Um shared the life of Hannah uh, together swapping out places etc holy shit cross our diary uh, another thing was argue arguing argue because um, it seemed like Hannah and Simon had a rocky relationship but it could just be, I don't know, maybe one of the other twins have a bad temper and one, you know? I mean, you can be twins and all, but not everything is 100% identical. Like, sure, you can look exactly the same, but certain characteristics or whatever cannot be exactly the same, right? You can have, like, that's why you're, they always, I, at least I always joke about, like, so, oh, that is the evil twin. Like, you can always tell one is evil and one is good. So I just wanted to look up the word argue. It's not mentioned often. Here she is again with the freaking guitar. When you've been married for 10 years, stuff accumulates. We could argue about anything. And he's so nice. That doesn't help. He tries to smooth things over and that just makes it worse. We're both passive aggressive, so we never know really argue directly about anything. Okay. Uh, what we know from this is uh, Mary obviously kind of obvious so she's had married for 10 years so she is 27 I think <coughs> married for 10 years um, uh, quote-unquote fight passive aggressively um, there was one thing that she said I Wanted to perhaps. Okay, uh, we can cross out argue. Another thing that actually isn't on the list, but I want to find a second pregnant. Um, probably not. Nope. Okay, so it's not mentioned in those words. Um. Another interesting thing that was mentioned about their wedding was shotgun wedding. It might only be mentioned once. Um, shotgun wedding, shotgun probably only mentioned once as well. Um, what about forced wedding? Not at all. Oh, oops. Forced, probably not either. Once. But we watched that one already. Okay, so shotgun wedding basically says nothing. Romantic was mentioned only once, but it was during something that we know very little about. It was some sort of getaway. It was supposed to be a secret. Yeah, this a secret getaway or Just something. Just because Simon is dead doesn't mean I have to give up all his secrets. 
It doesn't have anything to do with what happened to Simon. No one murdered my husband because he cheated his expenses for a romantic weekend in Oxford. Cheated his expenses on a romantic... Which is probably either Simon cheated, which I actually kind of doubt. I think that she went away with... That he went away with the with Eve and Hannah just doesn't know. Another important thing actually. Like we can notice from this picture that she has a tattoo here. In certain pictures like you can't really tell. In others she's either wearing, when she's short, short sleeved that we know she has a tattoo for sure. Um, in others she's wearing long sleeves. In the crazy one she's wearing long sleeves as well. So we can't actually uh, say tell for sure which one is which and which interview just by the tattoo alone but it's just an interesting thing that we do have to notice that supposedly Hannah has a tattoo or either one of the twins like it would be rather weird if both of them had an exact same tattoo right but that would be an important thing to hide and something like very important for them to overlook to give that away as a mistake so um it's supposed to be a secret just because right, Simon is dead secret. doesn't mean I have to give up all his secrets. It doesn't have anything to do with what happened to Simon. No one murdered my husband because he cheated his expenses for a romantic weekend in Oxford. Cheat, 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 cheat. That's another one. Cheat, cheating, cheated, something like that. Alright, so, um... Would say secret getaway Oxford spending money without Hannah knowing. So that in the in this in this video she also indicates that she was not the one being taken on that trip. Nothing else happened that night. We talked, then I said goodbye. Then next week I was sitting in the bar again and there he was, and again the next week, he offered to buy me a meal. I told them I had already eaten, um, and so we got chips and ate on the beach instead. When we said goodbye, he asked me to kiss him. <laughs> Romantic. Romantic. I don't know. This is weird. Like, she could be talking talking about someone else entirely, but that would be weird if suddenly another guy is involved. Meaning that if this, this person that she is talking about is Simon, it could be that they are, like, temporarily broken up or something, and he tried to make, uh, uh, make it up with her. Because we, can already, we, we know for sure that they have a rocky relationship, so it could be that they momentarily separated and then he tried to make it up with her and then you know the guy tries to pursue the girl she and that's basically what she said it happened in the bar he offered her food she's like no i'm not hungry all right let's eat some chips um blah blah blah, blah. possible other guy probably just simon <coughs> perhaps split up tim uh, she mentioned beach, probably not important, not at all. Alright, one more search before we get a call it quits. Um, Alright, let, let's do the one that was relevant to the last search. Secret. Two new videos. Okay. I poo my dust every week. I mean, maybe less. I once asked Eleanor how often I should dust, and she said, if people ask, tell them you do it once a week. But every few weeks it's okay. I think she was just trying to make me feel better. I mean, when I was there, she was hoovering every day in a ran an ordered house. You know how that generation is putting on a brave front. Hmm. She has secret stashes of cigarettes. Doug doesn't even know she smokes. When Doug? I was there, I saw her. She has these sort of porcelain vases, ornamental, 
next to the Reader's Digest books. Cigarettes inside. And she still has them. I mean, last time I was there, I looked in a vase. There was a fresh pack. I mean, all those years of marriage, and she still has a secret like that. But who the fuck is Doug? That's the only thing. Of, who is Doug? Um, it's like if she's talking about Doug and someone else, I mean, you don't know whose secret she's talking about. Secret is um, hiding. Um, um, cigarettes addiction, or just I don't know. Hiding cigar, I don't know, double R, double T, fuck it, let's go with the, all of it. Um, not sure who's, maybe Hannah. Another, whoa, whoa, whoa. Another thing is that, um, I have to write this down. In 3006, let's actually compare. How low is the tattoo? It's on her forearm. It, so it should be about here. Who has the freaking tattoo though? We don't know. Tattoo. Write down tattoo. Um, who of the twins? So in 107... She has a tattoo. The one in 3006 does not have a tattoo. No tattoo. Like, if my local police station has any uh, unsolved mysteries, unsolved murders, I'm gonna be on that bitch in a. In a, in a I'm gonna solve that shit. I mean, we haven't even solved this yet, so it shouldn't get too cocky, right? I'm I'm heading in a good di uh, good direction at least. So let's watch this last we one. We learned together we'd send secret messages by tapping out a code that we'd learn from a book, the knock code. Something prisoners of war would use. We'd tap them out on radiator pipes or the attic floor. Fucking gonna knock. Don't think we have eyes. But we couldn't find any. Bought a cat anyway. <laughs> Bought a cat just to get mice. Um, secret knock to communicate. Doesn't say with who though. Communicate. I wrote down knock. Um, Alright, damn, we found out a lot of stuff, but there's still so much more, like, I have, Attic is mentioned a couple of times, and I feel like that is really important, but we're gonna look up for the rest in the next video, so thank you very much for watching, please like and subscribe for more, and I'll see you in the next video, it's getting so tense, and holy fuck, I don't even know what to say, this game is just really interesting, and really refreshing, and something different to play, and it's really fucking good. And I hope you enjoy watching it as well, but I'm having fun playing it at least. So yeah, thanks once again for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace!